It's a magical time to take your little characters. Is your living room a living storybook? Is there a princess on your couch who looks a lot like your little girl? Or a little beast roaring through the room? Then it's the perfect time to introduce your child to the world where that magic is real. Walt Disney World Resort. Call today for your free vacation planning kit. You'll get everything you need to know to plan a Disney trip with your preschoolers and discover the magic through their eyes. Call 1-800-225-3124 for a free vacation planning kit. How did a guy named Humphrey Bogart come to be known as the greatest tough guy in Hollywood history? A wartime scuffle and a facial scar sure didn't hurt. It happened while Bogart was in the Navy during World War I. He was escorting a handcuffed prisoner when the POW smashed Bogart in the face and fled. Boggy was left with a scar that would define his tough guy Sam Spade appearance. Everyone knew the house on Melody Lane had been abandoned for many years. There were plenty of stories about why, each one involving a ghost of some kind. So, one night, the neighbours decided to do something about it. They would sneak in and spend the night inside and try to uncover the mystery of the house on Melody Lane. So, it's two in the morning, and you're starving. Nothing in the fridge, and nothing in the cupboards. You don't even have dog biscuits hanging around. You think about cooking, but then you remember the three alarm fire you started last time you tried using the stove. Well, check out 7-Eleven. There's going to be one right near you. They have everything from burgers to tacos. 24 hours a day. 7 days a week. 7-Eleven. Think of it as your own personal walking kitchen. This is my voice. There is no music and there are no sound effects. Only the pure, clear sound recorded for your ears. I am a voice over artist, a voice actor, a voice talent, and I can convey my message in many ways, in many tones, and with many emotions. I can speak in a very light whisper to share an intimate message with you. Or my voice can boom deeply, demanding respect from those who are listening. <sighs> my voice can express sympathy to someone who has just experienced a great loss. <laughs> or it can reflect the happiness one feels after accomplishing something great. I stand before this tube constructed of metals, of plastics, of wires, and of silicone, which listens patiently to me, as if it were alive, like a mistress, hour after hour, day after day, and night after night. It never judges me. However, it is a reflection of me, one which is neither vengeful nor forgiving. I am a voice actor, and this is my voice. <laughs>